Live. Oh, right across Australia, right across the <laughs> ditch, right across the Asia Pacific realm, you're with your boy, Timmy T, aka HK Bricks. And we are coming from the depths of HK right to you across the world wide web. And tonight we have RRB, we have Aaron, we have Joe Concrete Bricks, we have God, our good friend Kermit the Frog. No, not Kermit the Frog. We've we've got our good friend. <laughs> 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 Come the front. He's okay. He's back. It's James. We got Darren the Mexican and my really, really good friend, ABC from Queensland. Hello, and everybody. It's good to see everyone. How are we all doing? RRB, you've had a show. Let's kick off with you tonight, mate. What's going on, bro? Uh, well, before the stream started, we found out that Tim can count. <laughs> in Chinese, mind you, in Chinese, yeah, he sounds like not chop but gal. It was very impressive. Um, yeah, yeah, I had a show today. I had a show today for the first time in like uh, since, since July. July, this last Dude, time. Show. Good to hear you got amongst it again, mate. Yeah, no, yeah, so, it was um, good. What... Uh, what did you build live today, mate? What am I um, doing? I was just building one of the elf sets I had left, just finishing it, but that's it. It was, it was very loud, as you would have heard, um, Joe. It was very loud there that time. Um, yeah, I, sta- I stayed I on for a bit, but it was getting pretty staticky. Yeah, I should have done it a bit what later because it was super loud at that point because that was the peak time, and then uh, it got a bit quieter later, but... You, you put yeah, up heaps of nice uh, pictures. Yeah, it was good. Um, just took whatever. I haven't really had time to build anything recently. Like for me to not have built a set on the first day I got it is says something. So, um, yeah. So I just uh, awesome. didn't have any time. I just took whatever I had on my bookshelf, and I, it worked out. I took the boats I had and my Ninjago cities that I made, my mock in the set, and uh, my mini fig collection. So. You know, nice. uh, it was good. Yeah, no. Nice, it, nice, it, nice. It was, it, was, it, was at the, um, it was at the same place last year. Um, and last year I took my minifig collection, my Ninjago minifig collection as well. But last year yeah. I didn't get as much uh, man, as much kids coming up to it and saying, oh, sick, that's every Ninjago minifig ever. What the hell? Like, that's Lloyd. That's, you know, no one came up to it and did that. And then this year, because the freaking movie came out late last year, um yeah. all these kids coming up going oh look this is ninjago look at the lloyd oh my god it's lloyd oh my god <laughs> and then they're touching it take it it's as just a bit amazing of a the difference in one year the difference in one year that people actually know what what, what uh the characters are because they've seen the movie not the show the show's way better than the movie by the way but yeah yeah. Bad, so. yeah um i i actually you know, started and, watching it with uh, dom yeah, it's good, man. It's good. It's very good. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was really surprised by that. When, uh, people loved uh, the Ninja Refugees together, but uh, most of the hype was on my mini pig. So, you know, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Maybe I don't mind that. It is, definitely. Definitely. Oh, is, is somebody repeating or is that me? That's you, mate. It's not me. I can hear it. I can also uh, hear right. it. Uh, yeah. okay. uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. <laughs> it's the Joe. Uh, 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 is it still repeating now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, because uh, because Darren's internet is always the most perfect of all. So it's never Darren. It's never Darren. It's still repeating. Yeah. It's, it's coming from yours as well, like OJBC. Like, if okay. you speak. I'll, t- I'll turn my sound down a bit. Yeah. Hello. Are we echoing? A bit better now. Yeah. Yeah, it's dropped a bit. It's dropped <laughs> a bit. Oh, it's gone. Bye bye. It's gone. 
Still there, but not as bad. Still there. Not as bad, my dad. Not as bad. Oh, we have a Spongo in the chat. Spongo in the chat. Spongo, where's Spongo? I haven't seen him yet. Where's the Spongo Nader? Show us the Spongo Nader. Where are you, son? Um, am okay, I, still... I must be in the wrong screen then. Am and I still all funny, guy? No, and he's no. excited because James is here. Hello. hello. <laughs> I've got my um, pick a big pick a brick shirt. Fine, so. fine, fine, fine. 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 Oh, yeah. I, so, I, I thought that was the party shirt. shirt. Yeah, yeah. So if anyone goes parties, it's yeah, it, it's pretty much well, Darren, you you would have had some fun today with parties. I, I and now I just stayed away from it. I wanted to keep away. my fingers. Oh, yeah. I was safe because I wasn't even near it. I was about 200 kilometers. Do you have Dallas's beanballs? Sorry? Uh, no, I was asking if you uh, get Dallas. Dallas wants to join in tonight. Okay. I can't hear because I double it. Sorry. Sorry. It, 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 who's on the echo this time? Uh, Definitely me. not me. I'm going out. Coming back. Okay. I was, oh, it's better not be mine. I'll, 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 I'll be really angry. <laughs> oh. Is, oh. Is, the, um, is it clear enough for you to see? Oh, you got your spoil with you, Joe. Here we go. Let's put it on the big screen. I was with you when it's, you it's, bought it, that. It, it no, was the only bit of Lego I've bought. Oh. That, oh. <laughs> it's all legit. Da, 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 da. That's homeless Batman. Batman. Hello. Yeah, from the from the dreams from the dream sequence out of Batman vs Superman, but like it. where he's in the where he's in the desert. Must have been no. me. Oh. Yeah. oh where, 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 where he's like, where he's like a mercenary. And, and he's um like a, it's like an alternate an alternate reality sort of thing. Reality, where, yeah. Multiverse. Yeah. It's the only bit of Lego I've got because it was ridiculously expensive. Expensive. Yeah, but, yeah. Hey, ridiculously expensive, Joe, but it was good though. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I've showed you some good stuff while you've been over here, mate. Come on. Yeah, there's loads of good stuff. It's just expensive, that's all. Yeah, but there, there, there's always the tag price, Joe. I told you that, and there's my price. Come on. You, you saw me barter. Yeah, Joe, you're a foreign devil. Surely you'd be able to get a you know, better price with local. Uh, no, not really. No. Hey, hey, Joe. Uh, hey, Timmy got me a better dollar eighty off an of action figure, sir. <laughs> There's always the tag price, and then there's the Timmy price. The Timmy price is always much better. Hey. Hey. So uh, that's always cool. No. Dan James is MIA. <laughs> what happened then? Something's in, in trouble. I think the cat, maybe. What are you doing? Well, you're about to kill a cat. It's going to end up in the camera. <laughs> so, um, what are we going to be talking about? Well, if you would love to know, tonight's topic has one bit. has got a fire inside a twist and upside down for many times. And the question is... Oh, God. Why bring him in it? <laughs> what is God? Done? God. Sorry, mate. I had to go. Um, the cat was making chunderous noises and then went into my Lego room. I'm like, fuck. What? Oh, so, no. Yeah. Oh, oh. Up Lego. I've seen that before. Yeah. Whenever you hear this, <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> Joys of owning a cat. Mm. Okay. So what's so 
Are we composed? Oh, good. Okay, tonight's topic, as I was about to announce, is... What do we believe is going to be the most incredible set of 2018 yet to be released or has been released? And it's a big, 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 big question mark because there's still a lot to come. So what do you think could be the best set of 2018 or do you think has already been the best set of 2018? I need to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Google. Well, there's half, there's half the sets yet to come, so it's hard to make. Seriously, that. but I haven't actually seen half the sets. Yeah. Oh, Tim. Okay. Tim, my man. Yes, RRB. You, you already know mine. <laughs> I do know yours. I, RRB, I know what yours is, and I, <laughs> I, I, I know that. I, I also know that the doc is also heading your way. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I know you've already got that in your your your, your to buy list yes. as, as i also i've also planned to have it in my to buy list as well because um i still haven't opened that bloody ninjago city i still haven't built it and mm. if i put it put those two together at the same time i think i'm going to mock up a really nice um harvesting <coughs> to uh add add to that whole sort of asian japanese type uh behavior so um I, I'm actually yeah. thinking of doing a cherry blossom garden and everything, RRB. So That'd be look sick. out for that one. That would be cool. sick. Yes. Looking forward to that, I've already actually, uh, In fact, RRB, I've actually ordered some of the pink um, flower pieces to put on the trees already. So uh, nice. that's coming nice. That's coming very soon. But um, anyway, nice. but um, what would you what do you think? Um, let's let's be random. Um, Darren, what do you think could be a, a good set of 2018 so far, or possibly what have been murmurs and whispers of? Could it be the new Harry Potter? Could it be lots of other things? Give us, give us your thoughts. I think the new Harry Potter is going to go off the chain. It's been overdue. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to go off really well. There's a lot of people excited about the new UCS um, Star Wars sets, not that I'm a huge just um star wars fan so we'll leave that one to james but um, is that, I think you, the, yeah it is is the y wing going to be a big hit you guys reckon of course it no. will star, yeah. wars, no. star wars itself i i still think there might be um yeah. some morning jago to, to sneak out yet that i think will go off the chain too no, there's been no rumours, no leaks, but I just think it's been doing so well lately that they'd be foolish not to win yeah, there's something been, out. There's already, there's already been leaked images back in December last year for the summer set. Oh, is there? Sorry, I didn't know. It's, no. that's, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, more than just the, uh, the dock, I have been. Pardon? More than just the dock. Mm, yeah, yeah. Already, already all of the leaked images have come out. Right. Gotcha. Right. In December, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I just think that anything more Ninjago that comes out is going to sell well, and um, let's hope we get a nod to some classic space somewhere before the end of the year. Oh, and, amen to that. Awesome. And if the room, if the rumored friends Sky Rail comes out, well, that's just going to sell absolutely monster. Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah. That, that will monorail. That would yeah. be an absolute killer. Yeah, no, 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 it's Skyrail. It's Skyrail. 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 Does that mean it's going to sort of only come in poxy colours as well, or will they come in some neutral colours? Poxy Yes, I was curious on this question. Sorry. Poxy colours! What's a poxy colour? Oh, my God. No, well... Well, Friends maybe have some of the best colours, Joe. Yeah, yeah no, I, it doesn't. I know. Remember, remember Friends our living room. Friends bought us lots of tan. Friends bought us the bloody um that Nougari colour that's in the detective's office. Yeah, the Nougar, That's right. We got oh. that colour in there before. Oh, the well, you have I've got you lots of um, I've got lots of friends at home all around the around the dining table. I look at it every day, so. It's, uh, right. Beasel Beans Whoa. is asking us, what does Poxy mean? It's an insult. <laughs> Poxy means 
More or less. I'm guessing what well, the hot pink and the teal. Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mainly just the hot, teal the hot isn't pink. Teal is a friend's color. Well, teal I, I would hope color. that the rails will be teal. Yeah. No. So, Joe, 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 I cannot believe you didn't know that. That's disgraceful. Oh. What, what, what's that? Nothing. I'm being sarcastic. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but so, so L- L- Lockie, what I've got you is that are the spinners very popular in Australia, mate? The, those like oh, the yeah. Bay things? Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised yeah. by that, man. Yeah, they're gone, yeah, a big W. Gone. gone. All of them. Because um, I, over, over here, they had like, they had like an arena set up. Sick. Sick. Someone, it's someone, like, someone yeah. horrible reason. Yeah, that's yeah. probably. I'll go ahead and come back. I'll go ahead and come back. It's not you, mate. No, I don't think so either. No, I've been at three times. It's yeah. definitely not me. Well, it can't be me because I've got headphones on. It might be GBC because I have noticed um, when other people talk, although funnily not me, but when other people talk, the mic goes up on his window. That's the only thing I've noticed. Although yeah. not me, not at the moment, so you can't see it right now. But it was before. Um, it's just a, yeah. a little. So the reverb's gone and Joe's gone. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and the mic, yeah, you're right. The mic's yeah. still coming up in his window, so. Yeah. yeah. That's how we can usually pick it. Yeah. yeah. Unless, of course, you, you've done like a massive fart and then it's like, whoa! You know. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Don't mind you. What's going on? You just give a couple of, you know, Donna tabs and should be fine. Then. But. Donna kebabs? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. They are not pure farts. No. Um, oh, right. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best thing. Uh. Although a kebab van, that'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fixed them. <laughs> the door. So you can. Oh, sorry. Can we back to those rails? Like, what what colours do we actually think it, it, they will come in? Like, we've got the purple ones from the Joker Manor, mm. and we've also got the room. The um, I shouldn't say room because they've already been uh, sort of. Previewed, but the grey ones from that Pirates um, roller coaster set. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, the the rail, totally the different pieces. Which are in the mining set too. Mm. It's probably going to be a pastel. It'll probably be green or blue or purple or pink Black. or something. Ah, yeah, I think the, the 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 rails on the little on the Friends roller coaster is purple. I think. Mm. Yeah, but that's a roller yeah, coaster. Joking, yeah. Why are we assuming it's going to be a bright girly colour? Because it's friends. Well, what's yeah, friends? Just because it's That's friends. Funny. Okay, if you've seen the cartoon, the sky rail is not epoxy color. Well, like maybe like a bluish gray or something, so everybody can yeah, use it. It'll probably be a normal <laughs> color, and everything else will probably be colorful. I'm yeah, sorry. Okay. I, I, I haven't seen the friends yeah. so yeah, so I, I call the rail will be a pretty useful color, and it'll be the towers that'll be colorful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because because then they'll open open themselves up to a huge market again, I suppose. Mm. What do you mean again? Now with the with the sky rail, because everybody will want a bluish grey monorail. They, they probably won't want a purple one running through. Yeah, but it's not going to be a monorail. It's going to be a sky rail. Sky rail is just different. Isn't the sky rail just rail it's but elevated? Just regular rail elevated. Yeah, it's nothing special. Basically, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what the excitement's about. It's just... It'll just be normal bloody frack, elevated. Oh, okay. L cup, and you just run over it. Nothing. Anyway, that's my rant for the night. I'm going to shut up now. (laughs) (laughs) I do. Oh, no, no, no. Keep going, Sheree. We want to hear more. Keep going. Who's next? Hi. Uh, should I state which sets in 2018 are going to be what yeah, I think are going to be? What year it's be? Go for it, mate. Um, I think I think the most popular set so far that I've seen is uh, the Mack truck. Oh, the anthem, yeah. 
Yeah, I saw okay. that today for the first time. It's pretty damn up the chain. Yeah, yeah and like impressive. from the GBC builder's perspective, that's like a lot of pieces like in that set. Yeah. There's a lot of good pieces in that set, that's true. Hmm. Um, if it was if I was to say something not technic, um it'd probably have to be uh, excuse me being a little bit um, on the sort of frenzy princessy side here, but I'll probably have to say um, one of the Disney princesses sets. Oh, hello, yeah. Uh, mainly just because of like the parts that they use and the unique colours that they come in and also the mini dolls. <laughs> the mini dolls, yeah. I think Joe is... Yes, I collect the mini dolls. To but come out after that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, whatever makes you happy, though. That's where Lego caters to all tastes. Yep. Well, Disney princesses are awesome. Which one was it from? Disney men by all tastes. There are plenty of lovely men who like to collect Disney. Thank you very much. Yeah, I always said all tastes. All tastes means everybody. Everybody, whatever niche you're into. No, they actually do have well, some Dig yourself a deeper hole, Joe. <laughs> deeper hole, Joe. <laughs> so, um, we're all into a niche. Characters. We are all into a niche. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll support you on that because um, I actually bought a ton of the Snow White sets. Because they come with deer, they come with a rabbit, they came with a peacock, they came with some printed wood, they came with uh, a uh, tile, and it was. I couldn't hear a thing you said because it was yeah, all. Yeah, the reverb repeating. is getting a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Hi, Aaron, have you gone out and come back in, mate? Or... No, he hasn't. Uh, okay. No. Okay. Can Your you turn. try going out and coming back in on that same link that you you came in on? And we'll just yes. rule you out as the, hopefully, the cause. Yes. Okay. Is it, is it still doing it? No echo. Woohoo! Okay. Right. So we sourced it, we knew it. But anyway. He'll be back. So oh, yeah. Back. I don't know why it comes and goes and then it gets worse. Yeah. Anyway, just, it, just letting the people know in the live chat that we are reading the comments and we do know, but we've also got to be entertaining. Yes, thank you for letting us know, our live chat people. And uh, okay. as I previously tried to put tile onto 48 by 48 base plate, um, I think um, there's, a, there's a few things which um, Lego this year um so far has um brought out which have been good i think a few things they've missed the mark and they've also narrowed their niche and some of the anniversary sets that were only available well i say not not really only available in america but s somewhat only available in america um for instance the walmart exclusive which we actually have got opportunity over here to get but um those those um other ray falls in say oz or um new zealand haven't had a chance to even get a, a a look into grab those which is a shame but um as we are available the availability here is semi-limited but you can you can get your hands on it if you uh if you do uh the legwork and um try to find it and um you have that you have that uh, opportunity to get those um, Walmart exclusives. Some of those are okay. Some of them are a bit, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, disappointing. But um, it, it is it is what it is. Unfortunately. Sorry to interrupt, but just while yep. we're talking about exclusives, um, what do you guys think on the the sort of people making out? This was about. Um, we brought this up in the other live stream, but uh, I think it's worth bringing up again. What do you guys think on the people posting, oh, I got the policeman from the Series 18 in this series? <laughs> Disgusting. Sick of it. It's Sick of sick it. Of it. Disgusting. I want to go and smack them in the heads. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Interesting. It was discussed today, and everyone was disgusted at the other bank. Ooh, look, I got five of them. So you're an asshole that cleaned the boxes out, so little kids can't get them. You're a hero. Yeah, you're. You, you, the, the thing is, though, it's like a really boring minifigure. I, I, it's not even at all appealing. No, I, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Dark side brick, sick of that, and bloody falcon posts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. The new one, instead of just falcon posts, is uh, the people that go, oh, look, I got my card. My special VIP card has finally come in. Look, it has my name on it. I'm special. Oh. Black cardboard. <laughs> oh, I'm so special. Let's put it up on the mm. awesome. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki. I'm glad yeah. that you saw us, Nikki Brickosaurus. <laughs> oh, come on. We don't have the pun master here, so I've got to at least have some effort. <laughs> I'm not trying, man. Yeah. <laughs> but it, interesting this morning i went to the ldc and i shouldn't really be saying this here but i'm going to damn say it because it's a real absolute piss off oh here comes the red wait wait here comes the red there's more there's more Go to pay for my cup off the pick a brick wall and asked if there was any more series 18 mini pigs because there's 17 and Batman series two on the shelf or on the counter. Oh, we only got 10 boxes anyhow. Oh, I said, no worries. And someone from the staff said, oh, yeah, I got five policemen out of those boxes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, Don't even do that. That's not cool. And that's wrong. That is no, low. not cool. Sacking that, is is hot. that is low. That is just so <laughs> damn <laughs> Don't, don't, give it, don't sure he gives it back. It's just wrong. He pro pro probably he probably sold them for what he makes in three days, three or four days at work. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. See, this, is, this is the shit that happened when Mr. Gold was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there were people that didn't get, didn't even have stand a chance to find him because staff members were opening boxes in the back. And he actually told me my the story. location where it was in the box. That's too. my story. <laughs> Look, let, let's be honest. That type of stuff will happen regardless. Mm. It's bad enough that you know a Merlin employee slash Lego employee does it and tells you about it. Well, that's that's, that's tells really you about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's just stupid. What are you supposed to do? Give him a high five or kick him in the ball? Uh, yeah. High five, yeah, you're, you're an asshole. Regulations. You found five policemen and now five kids aren't actually going to get those policemen. Kids, yeah. A-foles, still. They're always going to get adults. Yeah, A-foles as well. Kidding. But, but still, that's low. Kids um, in the same yeah. Yeah. Like, you, you don't do, do that. Do, would you guys agree, though, that the policeman is more directed at A-foles? Because, like, what kid's going to go... Oh, yeah. look, look, look at this! Look at this yeah. plane! Look at this plane! No, it's not directed at eight folds. It's, it's, it's. Well, it's, I guess um, it kind of is. Mini fig collector. You grew up with. Yeah. It's crap. If you grew up with the policeman. Crap. You know, if you grew, if you bought those sets with that policeman back, you know, back in the nineteen eighty. Yeah, Which I did. Like, you know, you're gonna feel a nostalgia connection to it. Yeah, nostalgia yeah. that you want it for your kids. Yeah, but, yeah. If you're, but if you're a Lego fan, you look at the mini figure box. Oh, each series they have like a highlighted one. So normally it's a costume figure, or whatever. But this time the highlighted figure. So if you're a collector or if you're anybody who likes Lego, you got to watch that one. And mm. yeah, that's cool. I think getting, the other thing that really annoys me is that only. Sorry. Only one, sorry, that's okay. I think the only thing that really annoys me is that there's only one policeman per box. Should have been at least a minimum of two. And there were opportunities of some of the ones where they had, like, um, what was it, five, four or five, that they could have made, a, you know, a four or a three and added an extra policeman. Two would have been reasonably fair. Yeah. And still made it, you know, rarer than the other things in the box. But, um, mm. yeah. 
It's just another Mr. Gold situation. And it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, I think I, I think Jang saying uh, I think he actually summed it up quite well. Jang actually said, you know, some of the other figures you actually could have done more of, and the other ones you could have, uh, you know, had less of, and and then you would have been able to have more 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 policemen, and you know, seriously. Do we really need five brick girls? Probably not. <laughs> Well, no. you know, five brick girls on the night, did you say? Put them together? Well, yeah, okay. We'll just move that aside. <laughs> <laughs> they look on ABC Space then. Mm, priceless. <laughs> like, clearly. Yeah. Um... <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, okay. Dropped out. Hey, what? She dropped out. I didn't uh -oh. do it. Yeah, she's uh, she oh, is the block, block, the block ones. Uh, here she is. Um, she's back yeah. in. She's probably seen if she's back. Reverb. We were bogged, uh, yeah. I think everybody's got to just cycle through to make sure the reverb yeah. keeps moving on. Well, it can't be me. I've got headphones on. Yeah, that's what she said. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, Aaron, Aaron, I like how colourful that GDC you're working on is. Pun? I like how colourful your mock is there. Yes, um, it's one of many. One of the many. What? How does it move? Yeah, yes, it does. I will show you what it does. But I need to move the camera down a bit. Oh, it's so this is, uh, this is a copy of a, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember his name, but he's, I, I don't know where he's from, but um, his name is Bertel Van Beek, and he created a module called the Rainbow Wave, and this is my version of it uh, from the instructions, but I've made it half size to make it more reliable. Ah, cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's what it does. Awesome. Well, I, I must I must admit, with better internet, I would be able to see that at less than one frame a second. I was getting about you. one then too. They're not providing us. I can't imagine what it looks like, but yes, it looks good. Um. <laughs> Oh, so have you, have you improved on this Lego GPC? How have you, how have you improved upon it, mate? Um, I think the only sort of improvement I've done is to make it. Uh, I've run. I'm running it on a L motor um, right. instead of an XL motor, which was specified in the instructions. And I've also added the this thing at the end here. Uh, this is what Aku add, adds at the end of his module, so they all connect. A lot of people like to leave them off, but I really like adding them on because all my modules are to the same standard. So I like to make all my modules to the same standard. And what it does is it just locks them all together. So they're all just one massive module. You could technically say they're all one module because they're all joined together. Okay. And how, how many how many motors do you need to run? Is it a motor for each module or can you link can you link the like the drive for the modules? Um, it depends. Like, if you have a module that can run, on, you know, on needs several motors, uh, particularly the EV3 modules need several motors. Uh, most modules standard standardly run on just one motor, or you can daisy chain a motor to drive several of the same uh, module. I have seen this done before. But it's not very common. It's just preferred to run each module on its own motor because if this module plays up, you don't have to disconnect the whole chain and stop that whole chain of modules just to fix yeah, that one okay. module. If, if something fails, the whole lot fails then. Yeah, they, they yeah. choose through motors pretty quickly sometimes. We've had the guys at um, Brickvention go through 60, 70 motors in the period of the show. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seriously yeah. choose through. Yeah, is that and just because they're running? Is that just because they're running constantly yeah. all day under load? 
Yeah, and so now they've got a little bit um, smarter on that, and now they run them for an hour at a time and then swap a module out. So um, it's the so constant one who was doing it. And when you consider the Nyari B, it does get very hot in there. Um, that's also what causes part of the issues. The motors just run so hot. And um, another thing with anyone that is doing GBC, the trick is to run the motors flat out and then gear them down rather than trying to run them slowly. When you try to run them slowly um, with a speed controller, they tend to get even hotter than if they're running flat out. So oh, okay. I, I actually think a good little trick to do would be to sort of incorporate some sort of Lego-driven fan to actually blow across the motors to keep them a bit cooler. And you can, it's also something you can add into it to make it look a bit different too. So, so are, are, the, are the little motors brushless or are they, are they brushed? I've never pulled oh, they're them. brushed. Yeah, which is probably why they're running fairly warm. With, with my layouts, I forgot to specify that I do my own layouts. So normally, normally I, I collaborate with other people. Um, because I have about uh, 21 modules so far, that is a lot of modules. Um, I do my own GBC layouts, and for this year's prevention, I did my own GBC layout. Um, I found it better to run each module likes to have a certain set speed, and I prefer to run my modules a lot slower, only about sort of half speed, because it preserves the life of the motors, and you don't get any problems at all when running motors at only half speed, as I found out. So, I'm sorry to say this, but I really think they should adjust the spec to say that the motors do not have to run at full speed. Okay. Well, can you just because gear not only does it not only does it preserve the motor, it also slows down the rate at which the module wears down, and also slows down the rate at which the motor gets hot. You know what I mean? Oh, let's. There's always two sides to every. Yeah, it's the, the problem is with with all. It's always been with Lego motors though. Whenever you've tried to run them slow, or this is the ones you've been able to speed control. Whenever you try to run them slow, they, they doesn't actually stop them from getting hot. It can sometimes cause them to run hotter. So, um, mm. yeah, it's one of those things. It's always been preferable to gear things down, especially for smooth yeah. operation. If you gear mm. things down. Get a much smoother operation than trying to make the motor slug along slow. So. I I'm going to have to disagree to that because oh. all my I, all my time I've been doing GBC for seven years and I know what happens to the motors when they when they get hot they start making a really horrible squealing noise. Oh. And that is because they're running at full speed. I have not had a single motor heat up or stop because it's running half speed. No. Yeah. Don't know what you're doing differently to everyone else then, but that's just, um, yeah, it's just a. Well, a Darren, how often do you use motors in mocks? No, I don't actually I... run the motors. I'm just going on based on what the other guys. Oh, are okay. Doing. So you you oh. using secondhand information there? Okay. No, oh, no, I, I used to run a lot of Lego motors, but I haven't done much with the current ones. Um, are you talking about the old nine volt ones? I'm. I go right back to the four point five volt ones. <laughs> yes, I've got those as well. Yeah. Are you talking about these old style ones? Um, even earlier than that, I can go right back to the original yellow or blue or black brick. <laughs> okay, Darren, we know you're a dinosaur. Yeah, we know, right? We know I'm a dinosaur, yeah. Well, um, I, I would take it as, um, read the, the current issues you probably know more about at the moment, Aaron, maybe? Those ones I've had a lot of experience with and they work really well with the, um, with the 25 to 1 reduction gearboxes or 24.5 to 1 reduction gearboxes. Yes, I yeah. have that as well. Yes, I have a couple of those and they're really cool. I don't have any of the engines anymore though because I blew them all up, but I've still got the gearboxes. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I found them on BrickLink <laughs> and bought them. So, um,.
they're missing the top for some reason, but who remembers those? Could you move that up a bit? Oh, oh what's that? Mm. Yeah, that's the original brick motor, mm. but without its case. I do have the case, but I don't know where it's it is. It's got four, four inserts plus a cross axle insert. Yep, that was the first Lego motor I ever had, one of those in yellow. I have three in black. Lovely. And one in no. yellow, one in blue. The blue one's actually very rare. We just still had it. <laughs> Climb and hell, what did the other bit go? That came in my first actually major Lego set, which had the yellow brick in it, along with a lot of other stuff. I reckon. I have mm -hmm. the final photo of it. Who's getting tender hookups or me. grinder hookups me. there? Oh. Me. <laughs> Sarah, Aaron, um, have you seen any um, new sets coming out with um, any power functions that um, you like to look at? Mm. Yes. Um, I'm sorry, sorry. I had to call you. I had to call you. My bad. What? <laughs> no. What are you saying? Oh, my God. All right, Pete. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not actually calling her. <laughs> I know, but it's what the hell's going on, bro? I'm just trolling you guys. It's fun. Oh, bloody hell! I gotta keep. I gotta change Fair the pace. Income. You know what I'm saying? Banana Rama, damn. I'm Sorry usually boring, so you know, I gotta fix it up. Okay, can okay. we get back onto the topic now? Yeah, Sorry, you just want to stick me up uh, on screen share for a second, bro. Aaron, 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 we never stay on topic for long. No, we don't. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going dark. Yeah, you just want to stick me up on screen share for a second, there, Tim. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. It's, yeah, um, right. it's having problems at this point in time. <laughs> Hang on, present to everyone. Yes. Hang on. On. Click, Darren. Come on, work. You can do it. <laughs> Please, work. 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 Oh, come on, not again. Oh, Malaka. <laughs> You know what that means, I think, Darren. Um, yeah, I, I've worked with people from many different nationalities, Tim. <laughs> I know, mate. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just haven't worked with an Eskimo yet. That's that's about that'd be about the limit of it, I think. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to work with anything, every nationality that comes. Okay, yeah. well, that's it, bro. In lieu of anybody else picking up the baton, I'm going to pick up the baton and run with it because why? Right. why not? Yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to get Tim no, to show. What I've got on screen share is actually I'm, my first major Lego set. My thing won't bloody screen share at the moment. It's being a pain in the ass. Right. It's all gone oh. black on me. Oh, it's not good. Yes. Hang on. Can you work? Thank you. Working. Working. Hello. Working. Hello. Hello. Please work, press buttons, buttons, buttons. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, silly computer. Come on. Chinese mafia, don't upset me tonight, please. <laughs> Come on. Like AliExpress. <laughs> no, the, tri tri the, the, the triads are having a fight with the Yakuza at the moment. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good bloody movie? Triads versus Yakuza. And we've got Lego Task Force in the house. Evening, dude. Ah, work we finally. The Task Force is there. Lego Task Force. Damn thing. While we're waiting, does anybody remember these? When Lego Hair Tools. Oh, ah. that's a little while back. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do actually. Tulo, are they the Tulo ones or a different one? That's a pneumatic cylinder. Yeah. Oh, sorry, pneumatic. Sorry, we thought you had one of the wrenches in Tulo there for a second. 
Let's to see on the small screen. Bloody yes. hell. That was about when I got out of um, Lego, actually, when that first came in. I was <coughs> in Lego for another year after that and then sort of drifted away for a while. Mm. Speaking of first Lego sets, my first Lego set, I believe, because um, I remember getting, I remember getting the blue Technic. Uh, it was like a street sweeper set. Uh huh. Um, and then I went because back then I was only like a little kid, and I didn't really look after my Lego. I just lost it. Like I didn't chew on it or anything, but I just left pieces everywhere and lost a lot of pieces. And it wasn't until I got the robotics invention system set that I actually started to look after my Lego. Well, that's a shame. Hey, Tim, we can only see you on the stream at the moment. I know, I know. I'm going to have to drop out and come back in. It's being a pain in the ass. If I let me come back in, otherwise... <coughs> They might have to say a reader dirty and goodbye. And, and no, come have you in. tried clicking on your face first? I'm clicking on my face, and my face isn't doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> clicking my nose with my cursor, and it's. Hang on, isn't this your channel? This is my yeah. channel. Well, wouldn't Brought that? To you by the CCP. Hang on, here we go. Wouldn't we that? <laughs> Okay. Where we all get ready to oh, say here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Darren, you're on. You're on. Yeah. So can everyone see the set there that's up on my screen? No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Hello. Yay. <laughs> we have the technology. We yes. have a new so person. That that set four hundred four point one universal building set. 456 of the coolest parts you've probably ever got today. Um, 1977, I scored that one. Wow. Hey, hey, Tim. <laughs> hey, 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 Tim, are we actually going to say hello to Lego Task Force? Yes, we are. Hello, Lego Task Force. <laughs> Hardy ho. Sorry about the trouble. Hello, hello. Hi everyone, how are you doing? How are you, bud? <laughs> it's been a while. What's happening to you, dude? Good, Jimmy, how's yourself? How are you, Yeah. Have you come back from Walton? Nice, bro. Uh, the missus is out in the lounge room building Big Ben. Oh, cool. You got her on the bill. Good. Yeah. Excuse so, me, I just need to knock something yeah, back. Just chilling in my spare room. Oh, God. What's wrong, James? How is everyone? James, you there? You're, you're right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine coming through. I just everybody turned into a dialect there for a moment. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Whether or not it's me, or whether or not everyone has turned into a dialect, in which case I surrender. So, um, yeah. Nikki Brickasaurus has commented this time next week we'll be getting so excited for the Jurassic World sets. I think you and Cherie both. No, no, I think she's completely wrong. You know what we will be excited for? Benny O'Brien. Benny O'Brien. <laughs> Benny O'Brien. 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 Benny <laughs> yeah, so, that actually looks quite good so far. <laughs> so, something um, you won't be seeing at Bendigo Bricks. <laughs> it, it, it's who? 
it, no, it was something you won't be seeing at Bendigo Bricks is this one. Because oh. I have to pull it apart now so I can build it into something else with Bendigo Bricks. Oh, fuck. So, this was my nod to um, the 40th anniversary of um, Minifigs. And, and Copperhead Road. The, big pardon? And Copperhead Road. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Come I can here. pull that build out from behind me, James. It's still in. Oh, oh yeah. It's yeah. Still, <laughs> it's still sort of intact. Um, the sky's oh, still oh, there, James. I can go and get it. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, as you can see, there's a spirit of St. Louis doing the sky riding there in the corner. If I get up a little bit closer, yeah. you can just see there, there's my nod to the spirit of St. Louis there doing the sky riding. Whee! Whee! So. Yeah, and I'll pull it out in the so you can see Adam and Eve came up. Ah. I'll pull it out because it's a bit hard to see him in the in the actual build. Um. So there's Adam and Eve. As you can see, they have um. They have leaves in front of them, held on by genuine Lego rubber bands. And there was a little bit of a backstory to this one that I um, wrote. And the backstory is um, Eve, Ollie, I'm lonely. The Bible. Uh, yeah, so uh, Eve <laughs> says, Ollie, I'm lonely. Ollie says, mm, Okay, how about I make you a mate? I can use one of your ribs. Eve comes back. But Ollie, I don't have any ribs. Ollie. Oh, okay. We can just take one from that old dinosaur skeleton then. Eve, so what's his name? Ollie. We'll call him Adam. He's not too bright though. And Eve, tell him not to eat the apples. They're made from ABS. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was my bit of a nod to um, the 40th minifigures. I so, like yeah. that. Bit of a laugh. Now I've got to take it apart because I need the parts to build, to rebuild the giant jam sandwich. No. no. And to rebuild Copperhead Road as well. So I didn't recycle builds, James. I had to actually pull builds apart to build it. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of sucks. It does. It does when you don't have enough bricks. But that yeah, happens. Sorry. I'll show you. Is there a major amount of access at the moment? That, that's the start of new ride. That's starting to look pretty cool. Nice. I'm happy with that. After all that the bloody good. stressing what to bloody use. <laughs> do you plan to do you plan to cover that whole base plate in tiles, or do you just want to? Yeah, you're going to put a building there or something. No, no, it's going to be full of bloody tiles. That was the biggest debate we had the other week back. Do I do bloody brick built or do I do bloody plates? And because we got them on the on the pad wall, I'm I'm, I'm just doing this. I'm I'm doing bloody tile. It's too too easy, and I've got enough bloody uh, forty eight by forty eight now to do do my whole my whole city all decked out and and happy happy birthday. I'm laughing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So um, I'm stoked. Finally, buddy, after uh, after agonising over what to do, that's what we're doing. Sounds good. Yeah. Sky from Copperhead Road, James. No. No. No, Copperhead. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure. Okay. <laughs> Look over here, over here in the background. There, there's the there's the nod to the minifigures, and there's another section of sky. <laughs> Just to show that there was two separate builds. <laughs> two separate builds, oh, I. <laughs> and I'm not taking green. the computer out to show you the joke. He's blue. changing colours, Thomas. Hey? He's hey. gone blue. Yeah. I noticed that earlier. I've got a spur to sit Yeah. I think it's like <laughs> a the resolution or something. I've definitely. <laughs> I'm looking at the control the lights in my bedrooms now. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I'll try this for a fifth time. We'll see how we go. Right. 
Yeah, so um, any uh, builds that I've actually brought out this year, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult for me to, um, to discern you know, what they've actually brought out in the future. Um, you know, it, it's very hard to review. Like, usually they do bring out some really good stuff in October, um, namely with ideas or you know, with um, more complex builds like um, like your advanced creator sets and stuff like that. Um, but they haven't really you know, headlined or, or, or say any you know, advanced creator that they might release. Like, yes, they have um, announced that they're going to do a, um, a, <clears throat> a creator roller coaster, but is it going to be like a friend's one or is it going to be, you know, mm -hmm. super super detailed and all of that. So um, uh, until there's more details uh, for that coming out, I kind of reserve my judgment. And yes, I actually did say that, reserve my judgment, because occasionally, yeah. <laughs> um, occasionally you've had to eat your words. Well, occasionally I've had to reserve my judgment. Um, in, in regards to the, the stuff that they've already released so far, I think the best stuff that they've done are the 60th anniversary of little little mini kits, the mini boxes, from you know seven dollars up to what uh, seventy dollars, and that, you know the different like the mixed parts. Great idea, and you know what? They probably should replace what they're doing um, with the um, with a smaller creator set and put them in it and make that a permanent thing. Because they're, they're, they're great. They have a, a great selection of, of little parts, big parts, minifigs, accessories, and all of that. And um, they're, they're generally pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and it's a winner. Um, I have been pointed and poked and said, what do you think about the uh, Star Wars this year? Um, yeah, there initially was a little bit of discussion in regards to the wiring, whether or not it was coming out or whether or not it was or whatever. Generally, generally, when it comes to Star Wars UCS stuff, there is um, a lot of information that comes from Eurobricks forums in particular. Um, and the same reliable source who um, has been telling us that, you know, we'll definitely get this and we'll definitely get that, definitely said that, you know, the IST was a shit and definitely said that, that you know, they were looking at, you know, a wire wing or something like that. So it's just probably better to wait until they come out and then you say something. Um, but now that it's out, um, it's not my choice of set. But I will get it because I don't have it. Um, because I, sold, I sold my old version of it to get the um, the Tidarium shuttle, which is fantastic, and I reckon you've got to get that to get that. But um, yeah, sure, I'll get it, no problem. Um, into time, we're not going to afford it. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly happy with what I've come up with so far. Um, just just need to keep it up. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you can continue to do good things in the future. And uh, I really, uh, did, uh, what's what's the deadline for the upcoming um, for the next series of um, ideas? Is that in a couple of months' time, or is it the end of this month, or when's that coming up? No idea. Um, I'd like to see them release a modular version of the original villain house that the founders of Lego grew up in. I'd love to see that. And I'd also love to see a Falcon 9 rocket with the Dragon capsule that SpaceX has been using to resupply the International Space Station. Yeah. They would be some really cool sets. And maybe a Tesla model S and model S. Oh, look. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, yeah. The, it will be nice for when I bring them up and stuff like that. But um, like, like, we weren't really. Well, actually, probably later on this month we might get some teasers. Um, but May is when the top of information gets gets released. So we'll know sooner rather than later. Um, um oh, sorry. Um, well, can so someone put up? I, I, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I've had to interrupt. Um, I've just shared a uh, thing. Can we, can we put that up, please? Because that's that shows you the original um, project and Lego ideas for the uh, the Lego Rainbow Wave module, which I showed before. Oh, you can do it yourself, Aaron. Over in the left hand side, there's a little green icon with an arrow for a screen share. Yeah, I'll just put it up on the screen share now, anyway. Go for it. Go for it. <coughs> just make sure it's going open in the next one. Yeah, I'm just wondering when the next book uh, for ideas is. Because there's actually quite a lot of really good projects up at the moment. Um, okay, if you can't figure out how to do it, I can do it. I'll put it on screen share. Ooh. I'll put it on screen share. I'll, I'll do it from my end. I, I can see that that dog set being very popular, just saying. Which dog? Uh, uh, anyway. Wolf. I've brought it up. Can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Ta -da. Ta -da. So please support it. Ah, so this is yours, is it? No, it's not mine. Is um, it this else's? is the original creator. Ah. Of this module, yeah. And I think he deserves the credit and the support. It's a very cool module. Not counting the actual. Yes. So that's so that's the full length version of it, whereas mine is just the I don't know if you saw it, I think everyone saw it. Mine's only the half length oh. version. Is it able? Is it a standalone module? Like, can it work by itself? Uh yes, but you'll have to keep feeding balls back into the start again. Uh, so it's it's not a um, recirculating module. No. A reticulating one, no. Mm. It's not reticulated. <laughs> <laughs> Damn those non-reticulated things! Damn. Yeah. It's it's a super cool module, but um, as something that's marketable, I don't know whether Lego will pick it. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah. I mean, like, I really would like to see Lego doing uh, releasing at least one GBC set. Like, even if it's a copy of, like, I know they probably won't, but even if it's just something like one of Akiyuki's simple modules, like the zigzag stair, or um, you know, make the zigzag stair. Like the zigzag stair is like I'll show you how big the zigzag stair is. It's tiny. But from from a market, from a marketing standpoint, you need something that has wide appeal. Yeah. Yes, but um, GBC. GBC is one of those popular things that. Oh yeah, you know, I'm not, not saying. It's not, yeah. Okay, I'm not saying it's not popular, Aaron, but I'm just saying from a marketing standpoint of selling this as a set to the general public that don't do GBC. So, like, the only way to use this is to hook it up with other GBC modules. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I'm just saying, if it was something that was recirculating, like. It, you could set it so that it recirculates its own balls to this start again. Yeah, sure, that would be a good set to put up to be marketable. But this, it only goes from one end to the other, which is yes. the standard GBC module, which is fine, but the general public are not going to buy this. No. Has anything with a motor or power functions made it to my 
Oh, it's very cool. But, um, yeah, it doesn't have wide appeal, unfortunately. Um, yeah, like I can, uh, I, I completely understand. Like if it was something like uh, Arcadia's Ball Factory, because that does have a recirculation function on it, but it's mm. like three thousand pieces, mm. and the thing's like two big forty-eight by forty-eight base plates big. Who's yeah. going to have the space and the time to put that thing together? It's such a big module. Mm. Yeah. Well, I've, I've also seen smaller um, ones that recirculate the balls. Yes. There's a, there's a few of those. Mm. Anyway, so if anyone's interested, feel free to um, support that, obviously, but I honestly don't see it being... Picks, even if it makes it to the ten thousand. It's you know, it's it's mean to say, but it's part of the first department really awesome. I'd try it, but otherwise, yeah, I think it's spot on. A B C that it just wouldn't have the market. So I couldn't get a word that you said then, but I'm pretty sure you said something about yeah, it's not. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's not, it has to be, a res if it was recirculating, which I'm sure it could be made to recirculate, yeah, it really is spe specifically to be put into a layout with lots of other modules and, mm. you know, like a, a standard GPC model is. Well, if it was like a cube of a, of a certain shape, kind of like what they do in the shows, right? So it was like a yeah. uh, 10 by 10 or a 20 by 20 cube and you had like a, a series of something like that that, you know, you buy a cube, buy a cube, buy a cube and then have different kind of activities you can do in it. That would be a good thing or like a construction kit or something where you know, you're putting your output in a variety of different things to do to get, you know, um, from A to B. Um, it, it could be a good thing to do. But Mm. But then again, you know, we don't decide mm. these things. But personally, um, I was a bit disappointed that the Toyota Land Cruiser didn't make it the next time. And personally, I didn't think that the Voltron was a good, a good idea. Clearly, I'm in the minority of the panel. Clearly, a lot of people here are thinking Voltron <laughs> and just go completely banana. <laughs> Me, personally. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. Um, as a set, it'll be impressive. It'll be over expensive, but people buy. It. And, and, and that, at the end of the day, that's what they go once. They want to buy. Like, the one before that was the fishing canoe. It's essentially modular. It's essentially just a house with stuff in it. it it's not difficult, it's like, but it's shiny, expensive. People like it. Broad mass market appeal. So. Yeah. We, we've got somebody in the chat, Vieselbean, says, I would buy that if it recirculated balls. Yeah. Yeah, and whose yep. balls will it recirculate? The thing is, is that it needs to be able to function properly in as itself and be able to be added to a layer. Bad um, Bad thing. I don't know if anyone heard my question before. Has there ever been an idea set with a motor or power functions in it yet? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. And that could be part of the reason why it wouldn't be accepted either. Well, it'll cost too much for starters. You can add 50 yeah, bucks. Motor's motor uh, an expensive part. Yeah, so motor's... motor's right. really, I mean, it, can be, it can be hand cranked. I mean, there's no reason why it can't be manually powered. Mm. And it would probably have more chance if it was. Yeah, well, that's it. Also, the JK Brickworks would have, would have done a whole bunch of, of um, ideas and none of them would have got past the ground. You know, the ones that, you know, the horse and the... Is this a small thing? Yeah, oh, they're all excellent builds. Yeah. Um, yeah. just not... See you tomorrow, guys. I gotta go to bed. I gotta work tomorrow. Okay, see you later, Task Force. See ya. Bye. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for dropping in. Yes, having seen a lot of the JK Bricks works. <laughs>
builders. It's good stuff, but it's not going to make ideas all the time. Yeah, well, they've had one leg of ideas for maze. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that the went maze, well. The maze was awesome. Yeah. Um, yes, I like the maze was good. If you mention the maze, he will go apoplectic. Um, which makes me think I should mention it Justin when I see him. Oh, I'll mention him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, the maze is a perfect My screen is brought to you by... Oh, no, but the, the maze is a perfect example of something that is implemented well, but they didn't back it up with any stock. Um, and, you know, if you actually want, if you want to buy something and it's not available... You can't do it. And I think, I think the thing with the maze that sparked the GBC community was the fact that it came with four of those GBC balls. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's probably why I sold all right too. Yeah. And I think it was fair price. Like seeing it was like, what was it, $70? Uh, yeah, and it had a lot of useful pieces in it. And yeah, like it's just customize the board, stuff like that. Oh, RB chanting, that's nice. But yeah, if 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 you can make a DBC that had the same sort of an appeal as the maze did for JK Brickworks, then yeah, yeah, yeah you could get it to your ten thousand supporters and get it picked. But yeah, as cool as that looks, and like I'm not dissing the project at all. It looks awesome. I just don't think Lego would see it as a viable thing. That just not. Yeah, yeah. Based, based, based on their previous choices, like mm. unless yeah. they change the, you know, they change the way that they choose things. Hmm. Oh, and then it, it's not anything taken away by by those people like yourself there um you know, oh. who do who do these great ball machines but I, I i i i just think um for the greater public i don't see people going to get behind something like that but they're amazing we, we have guys in the club over here who do it and they do it really well but it's oh, but very niche very, it's very um, um i think it's a very small part of the scene and technique stuff, but i i just i just think that um if it was more as the as the other panel has said more along the lines of the uh, great maze or you know, even the chest set we still sell chest sets over here like they're going out of fashion so something that has become yeah. our playability or something which has got a return function where you can get, you know, you can play a game where the ball will go through a bit like, um, you know, I have seen some um, wonderful pinball machine locks, which are amazing, absolutely amazing. You know, if you had a pinball mock that used like a GBC type uh, uh, idea or something like that, it'd be off the chain, it'd be absolutely off the chain and amazing. So, yeah. you know... It, that 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 would maybe get the numbers up and and therefore you you would you would sell probably a, a ton load of bloody copies of that 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 if it, if it was um ever made but it, the logistics is is just um yeah i think the logistics and price point it, it doesn't seem like lego would have that you know uh, they'll be hesitant to actually think about it mm. Yeah, I, I do have to agree. Like, I don't see the chances of us getting a GBC set in, you know, the near future. I think it's going to be one of those things that will be on our wish list for the rest of our lives, but I don't think it will ever happen. No, no, it might be something in, like, a Technic set or something, because Technic is it's, yeah. it's quite niche, but I don't know. True. Or like, it could be, like, a yeah. Technic set. Because that's that's where the most of like for example um would I be right in saying that um I, I can't think of the name of it um is it like the big conveyor set with a big with all the buckets on that I could really yeah that's it yeah so apparently there's there's a whole bunch of GBCs based on the parts in that set 
Oh, yeah, there's yes, one, there is. One, yeah. That, one that involved three, the bulk of the parts out of three of those that was displayed. Yeah. So I, I'd imagine that in the future they continue to do stuff like that, um, you know, to, to fuel that, that that kind of um, niche thing. But, yeah, um, yeah, there's a pretty strong technique community. Oh, oh of course it is. Very strong, strong community. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, but, I mean, um, I'm taking the special pink pills uh, for no reason. Uh, it's it's just, pink pills? Oh look, I just I'm just feeling manly today. I just need to, you know. Uh, no, no. <laughs> what? No, uh, 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 I'm taking the pink pill and seeing how deep the rabbit hole goes. We're on the subject of Technic. Let's discuss um, who builds studded versus stubless. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just broke Darren. Um, what was that? You broke Darren. I think you broke me. Stunners. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're, they're cold and flu tablets. It's all good. I didn't hear that. What? Didn't so, okay. Um. So while we're on the subject of Tenic, um, can we talk about studded versus studless and who builds? Whether they use studs or whether they prefer to use Technic, which is studless. Um, um, I no, like Technic. We probably go or... further here. Whether you go stud or snot. Oh, I love um, <laughs> I love Technic. I love Technic because um, it's always good to incorporate into a mock, as it always makes it a lot stronger. Yeah. Um, so I always, I always True. put technique in my mocks. Always, I can't build a mock without any technique in it. Um, mm. But uh, no, I've, I've, I've built some things where um, I've used technique uh, beams as like uh, layering, but not much, not not often because it's hard to do that. You need a lot of beams, and they're expensive too. So mm. um, yeah, sometimes, sometimes with a lot I have, yeah. See, I do, I do a bit of a mix because um, Akiyuki does his series and he does them to this sort of standard where he has, a, he has like technic bricks, and then he'll have a beam to actually reinforce it, which I think is really good. Oh, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah I, I do that all the yeah, time. But the, That's yeah, yeah. I do that all the, the time. But the bulk of the module will be made of system bricks or snot bricks. Yeah, which is. Yeah, I do that all the time. It just really depends what you have on hand, mm -hmm. really. Um, yeah. yeah, some people um, swear on using G Plow um, as, as support, as structural. Uh, probably more behind the scenes type stuff. Like, you know, you, you build your fascia, which is all pretty, and then it's just, you know, G Plow or whatever behind it. Um, Not a fan. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't r really build big thing like the main thing that i built um you know the ships behind me and I, I can't really afford to to do anything like that because well where would i hide it like it's you know they're only what three plates thick so you know mm -hmm. i can't hide it anyway um maybe some actually come to think of it i could probably use some technic plate you know, the, the kind of the D-shaped ones. Uh, good idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> it really depends on what, what plates you have and if you have enough um, uh, 10 or 12 or 16 plate, then... Mm. Personally, what does anyone else think? I, I think um, I'm, I'm with RV on, on, on I like to actually mix the uh, technique in with the actual uh, Lego and 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 for sort uh, you know particularly with bigger buildings which I've done with other builders here in the lug you can really reinforce a building quite well yeah. with technique pieces quite easily yes. by putting yeah. nice supporting frames through that with the technique beams and putting the actual pin pieces in and hiding mm. it inside the actual inner workings of a building and then on the outside architecturally it's fantastic 
Yeah. So, and there's enough system stuff that connects to it or you can, you know, bind to the technique quite easily. Bloody oath. Bloody oath, James. Bloody oath. It's bloody good stuff. I love it. Love it. So that's my thought. Yeah. Well, some very, uh, very good opinions, I must say. Personally, myself, I like to try and go as not as possible, like studs not on top. Because as a kid, I never got any tiles, so I really love to go to build with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I've got the keys to the candy store. Let's make the most of it. Ah, oh, Daz, good on you, mate. Daz, good on you, mate. <laughs> It's it's bricklink is a wonderful thing, but it's very expensive. We've got that echoey reverb thing going again. Yeah, I've also noticed that. Now, see, my missus is away. I, I I think I've been to build her at some stage out of this brickhead that I've got. Build your own brickhead <laughs> at some point. I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to get a, a, a the phone up and do a picture and, oh, and build nice. the uh, nice man. Nice that R B. Yeah. Are I'm you teasing me, Tim? No, I'm yeah. not. Do you want me to get you one? I can give it to Joe. Were yeah. they in the LDC, Darren? How much is it? I did in Hong Kong. Wasn't there for long enough to have a real good look. How much uh, is it in Hong Hong Kong, Tim? Uh, it's now. I I got a discount on mine. I got it for two forty. <laughs> dead it was uh 250 so um i got i used one of my lot of my points because um the manager uh, obliged and she uh, got a uh, she actually gave me her staff gifts down on it which was nice of her she's become a good friend uh, i see yeah, the game cause, you're playing because when joe was playing, looking too. at it joe joe told me that in in australian dollar that the lego store it's like ten dollars aud more expensive yeah, well, again, as I said, there's the there's the tag price, there's the Timmy price. <laughs> oh, well, if you can do a uh, Timmy, if you can do better than the thirty nine ninety nine, which is what it is in the Australian Lego store. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't. Sticker okay. price is sucker price. <laughs> yeah, if you if you can do better, then hook me up, mate. And um, <laughs> once you do that, I might have to settle my bill. Okay. All good. I'll get, I'll get you that with the Timmy price, and we'll sort you out and give it all to Joe, and you'll be you'll, 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 you'll be you'll be tickled. You'll be totally tickled pink. So Tim, Tim, fill us in. How does one how does one get a Timmy price? How does one get a Timmy price? Um, being known in the A4 community in Hong Kong, um, uh, people following the channel as. Um, as some do, but don't really sign up as subscribers, and also getting a French <laughs> in Lego store, as I have done. And and, uh, and, and, and also, how and does how does Tim how does Tim get a Timmy price? Oh, because I'm a sweet talker. Come on. <laughs> Is it the Timmy charm? Please. It is a Timmy charm. <laughs> Timmy charm. Yeah. It's a yeah. Timmy charm, and and some uh, actually, to be fair, um, uh, the lady in question, who's the manager at the um, Lego store in um, Mong Kok, knows my, my my sickness history, and actually, her mum actually works at the same hospital. To be honest, uh, 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 frequent flyer sickness miles. <laughs> yeah, no, it goes a long way. Oh, I went, I went there. Uh, yeah. We know, we know, we know, I think. Well, yeah, yeah. It's oh, yeah. it's familiarity, you know, they know you. Echo, 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 echo. It's not echoing you. No, there's no echo what, in there. What, what? You're the source of it. Uh, usually, usually, if you don't hear an echo, you're the source of the echo. Trust me, I'm I used to be a sound engineer. Yeah, I'm hearing echo. 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 Y
call now. But yeah, I'll, I'll get you the Timmy price on that, Cherie, and um, we'll look after you. Oh, sweet. That'll make we'll Hubby happy. You. Well, hey, uh, well, we have plans, we have plans on doing a brickhead stream. <laughs> Yeah, she's going to do a brickhead spring with all these. She's doing a brickhead spring with all these. Oh, and, and some others. And some others, of course. <laughs> just, just no San Diego and Comic Con. No San in. Diego Comic Con. <laughs> and a dog thrown in. Yeah. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Yeah, I've heard <laughs> there's more. Got Tim I've, Shaw. Heard, I've heard there's more oh, bloody brickheads. I've heard there's more bloody brick hands. So you're going to saw some steak knives now, Timmy? Yes, it's time for the free set of Swiss Nemesis steak knives. Oh, oh, right. You also get the capsicum peel off the free. <laughs> and if, you, if, you, if you call this number right now, we'll throw in an extra set of capsicum knives for free. <laughs> 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 you can have a super if stay sharp forever knife that'll cut through old boots. <laughs> <laughs> it can cut your bloodstone six times over. Yeah. Yeah. Piece of wood, I can chop this tomato. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because we do that. <laughs> AliExpress, they sell things like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Express. We, we, we like to copy from uh, overseas and we make our own. But I'm trying to send the the Tim, quality. Tim, you're saying to the good side of it, mate. Tim, you know what? <laughs> that is over the line. Do you sell Lego? Honorable <laughs> Tim at AliExpress? Do they sell Lego? <laughs> I think they do. They do they sell, sell Lego. It's for them what they're selling with Lego. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. And we've just ended in the middle of this. Uh, um, we uh, have. Uh, Aaron, Aaron, your balls are a bit loud. Fucking <laughs> free set. Whoa. Whoa. Need some lubricant. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going there. We're not going there. We're not going there. We're not going there. That's what she said. <laughs> Literally. You put them on the walls to make them clean when they bench together. Isn't that a mechanical principle? <laughs> what? Oh, I thought they were all filthy. Jeez. I'm talking about... Oh, my God. <laughs> Can we change the topic, please? <laughs> oh, I'm going to bite my tongue and not say what I'm about to say. Say, say it, it, say it, say it. Well, That's you're the one who started no playing with your balls and making all that noise. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's fault, he told me to say it. I um, did. I told you. I did. Um, I did. And you, you came through. You're unreal. You're a I, top I, ten. I, That's awesome. It's almost like we planned it. Um, <laughs> oh, no. That was totally unscripted, but boy, did that come off very well. Sorry, it's so came through. Well done. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, not necessary, but oh, well. <laughs> it was. It was Aaron, it, about Aaron, 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 it was factually accurate. Yes, yep. no, it wasn't. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Oh, so that isn't the case. And you, you're saying from experience that somehow friction doesn't apply if you're. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> When the mute <laughs> sign comes, I was like... All right, can we change the subject, please? Please. Oh, I, I should have we're, making, we're making Aaron uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, Let's Aaron. Just put it this way. When you're playing with your balls, put it on mute. <gasps> <gasps> no, turn the video off. Turn the video off. He I'm means your GBC out. balls. Yeah, that's what I meant. They're noisy. Oh my god. When you refer to them, talk say GBC balls. Oh, oh that god. takes too long to say. <laughs> Otherwise say nothing. Oh. 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 Hey, as long as they're not blue balls. <gasps> well my blue ball here's got a dick written in it and it's made in Thailand. So. Okay. Oh, 
I, I don't have it. We'll move on. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I might have thrown out the cat. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was rather interesting. Young Blue made blue stress balls. Uh, oh, he has got a blue hey! ball. Yeah, you saw with the You're just as corrupted as us. Well done. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. One of us. One of us. Oh. Well, that was fun. Uh, it was fun. Oh, you're being awfully quiet. Well, have an hour. Let's um, RRB. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Oh, I muted him. I, I don't think RB has realized. <laughs> you muted him. I get you. Oh, you muted. You, you, <laughs> you muted him, you bugger. Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> it was fair play. Was that Damn assault? it, I can't mute you because I'm on my phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who's been muted? Oh, I'm crying. You're so I funny. didn't like it. Yeah. But. <laughs> Anyway, Leo, this thing, yeah. Shenanigans oh. happening tonight, people. Shenanigans are happening tonight officially oh on the channel. God. Shenanigans are happening. Who How muted? long was I muted for? No, no, you weren't. Oh, you were. For yeah, a while. You were talking okay. and nobody was, like, mentioning that they couldn't hear you. It was hilarious. Yeah, because no one was paying attention <laughs> except for you. Oh. <laughs> 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 what does that say about you? Ooh, oh, that oh. I care. I care enough to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> you go, oh, ah, stuff. mom, you're so mean. Oh, yeah, mom, stop. That's that's so horrible of you. That's so rude. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, dear. Um, what a funny night this turned out to be. <laughs> I promise we're not I all in the Yeah, I can certainly see that. Only some of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of us. It's meant to be one of us. <laughs> Is that you, Darren? Did you just did you just own up to it? Oh, that's so rude. Are you, are you so special? I know I'm special. Everyone told me my entire life that I was special. <laughs> well, that explains everything. Oh. I, I was apparently a special kind of special. Wow. Again, that explains everything. Yeah. <laughs> was that, were you really talking with your inside the head voice or were you outside the head? Because I, oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> getting this indication that possibly that was something to keep in here, not out there. I, oh. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Because yeah, it might come back to haunt you. Just, just oh, saying. Um, far out. What a classic, Tim. You just got the classic moments on your stream. I do, mate. I do. <laughs> Record playback. <laughs> I'm best of our <laughs> Oh, great. Right. Six of you. Trap themselves. Just watch them there. So, hello. Uh, glad we're entertaining you. Um, yeah, it's almost as funny as your, your voice last night. What? <laughs> I mean, last oh. oh, 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 Hello. What? <laughs> you can see me down at the uh, the, the speckled oyster. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like I'm not uh, getting it. Looks like the attention's moved off me now. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Um, some questions will be asked later on after this, and uh, answers will be attained. Take, take your blue balls down to the blue oyster, and you'll be in. Balls. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I, I promise you, Aaron, we are not hazing you, guy. 
This is no, just the silliness right. that happens occasionally. Oh, yeah. It's completely, yeah. Look, it's completely and utterly naive and honest. No, this is orientation day. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, like, are we to uni? No, no, this is normal. This is every day. In every feed, it's just, there comes a point and it's just like, nah. Yeah, we just, we just fall off a cliff. We just fall yeah, off at that point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah. What's the phrase? <laughs> Welcome to our insanity. Free tickets. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, have, well, anyway, this so, whole Lego thing, uh, what are we talking about? Have we got any Lego. other Lego things to actually talk about, or are we just mucking no, we around? Do, we, do. we do. Um, I, 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 have, I have got, um, Two of the new hospitals coming, believe it or not. Shock horror. Yeah, pictures of those. I don't have pictures of them yet, but um, I, I do have them ordered, uh, pre-ordered at least. And um, I, 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 I do have, uh, even though I have my custom, I do think I might try to mod the uh, two of them together and come up with something. So that'll be fun. And this road's coming along quite nicely, by the way. Yeah, looking good, too. I've only got another, what, five to go? <coughs> Six, seven? <laughs> Maybe eight more roads. Okay. <laughs> it is a very time-consuming process, isn't it? It bloody well is, mate. It's true. Whose body have you found? <laughs> That's Who's pinging away in the background there? No. Turn your microphone off. <laughs> We're just doing it. I'll do it again. Hang on. You will. What? Yeah, Darren is busily uh, deconstructing his his uh, beautiful mock that he built. There's yeah. something behind that smile that is just really evil. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at that. All manner of evil is behind that. What is he planning? Oh, I... What is he planning? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got to pull this apart because I need to put back into the job. <laughs> Yeah, something's happened. He's gone. He knows something. I've got about 40 <laughs> plus hours of building to do before Friday. Damn. <laughs> you might as well call that a good game. GG. Ah, <laughs> oh, far out. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to be a very busy boy between now and Friday. I'm back again. I just oh. changed rooms. Uh, <laughs> we're in the dark again. The lights went out. He didn't play his bill. <laughs> I did have that one. Well, I, I, I actually had uh, one one time in my life where I was a student and I actually didn't pay the bill and the lights all went out. <laughs> I, I, I asked my roomie, I said, what happened? Did you pay the bill? I, said, I thought you paid it. He said, no, you, you, you said you didn't pay it this week. I said, oh, shit. Damn. I forgot to pay it. You flaming idiot. Go down the bloody... Yeah, flaming go on. The life of a student, what can I say? Just, you did turn into Alf Garner or anything just from over there, did you? Or? What, Alf Garner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember him, don't you worry. <laughs> yeah. Get Alf Garner on the phone. Get him on the blower. Get him out there. Since, since Joe's been over here, I brought the old Aussie opera back to me, and, and I 
worry when I go back and teach uh, children today that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really Aussie for my kids. Oh, there we go. Oh, Mr. Tim, Mr. Tim, we don't understand. We do understand. Okay. I'm being paged. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, was there any... No. Is there anybody there? No. Anybody out there? Hello. And now we're just looking at an empty Timmy space. Yeah, no, sorry about that. Oh, hello. Hello, sorry, that was the cheese and kisses. I'm in trouble. She's on her way home. And, um, yeah, everyone hide. <laughs> Time to wrap it all up. <laughs> That, that's an interesting combination. Um, <laughs> Shut up, hey Tim, I, I'm hoping that I, I, I misheard that because I can't think of a single situation where cheese and kisses could actually. <laughs> hey Tim, uh, Tim, yeah, mate. Tim, yes, mate. Can you um can you fill us in about where cheese and kisses cheese and kisses came from? In the vernacular of Australian colloquialisms. I've never heard that before. But, uh, you haven't heard yeah. that before. It's no, rhyming because... slang. It's based on Cockney. Yeah, it, 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 thank you, Sheree. She really... gets a linguistic it, award from it Mr. Is a thing. English teacher. It is yes, a thing. It, guys, oh, 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 guys, what you've got to do with Lego. Oh, you're no fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Tim's trying to say that it's probably time to wrap this up before the missus gets home. Yes. And gets upset that she's not having attention that she deserves because she's a lovely lady. Yes. That How is different the of you. And so I guess that shall be fair. Happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. Correct. Correct. Yes, yes, definitely. Gotta keep the cheese and keep it happy, mate. <laughs> anyway, okay, so thank you everyone for being on tonight. Thank you, RRB. Thank you, Concrete Bricks, who was on earlier, who is in the house in HK, who has been awesome, and we've been showing him around the, the uh, wonderful abode of HK. Thank you to my good new friend Aaron. Thank you to James. Thank you to Darren, aka Gandalf, aka a awesome Lego builder, and another awesome Lego build from Queensland, Australia, ABC. You've been on the Super Sunday stream. We're here next week. Like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll catch you again next week in the mayhem. That is this Lego world. Keep it real. Peace, guys. Dajian. Dajian. Sarah.